What's up, everybody? Dreadnought Ryan here. Here is part three of the uh, Night Force wave from the store we will not mention. Um, this is Mole Rat. This is a new character to the G.I. Joe line. Uh, he is also this first time in the classified line because, again, he's a new character. Uh, it's funny, the Night Force line has brought both new characters uh, to G.I. Joe. We did get uh, Wolf Spider and then, of course, Mole Rat, which is pretty cool. Uh, box art on this particular figure is awesome. Again, this is a Cobra Environmental Trooper, um, and he is mining Dark Energon. Uh, I love the purples mixed in for this particular uh, box art. You get it for the eyes, which I think are just cool, uh, for the gas mask, and then, of course, the artist rendition here on the side. I'm really digging this, uh, especially since Halloween just passed. On the side, of course, you get the standard G.I. Joe stuff. You do get the rankings or his attributes down at the bottom. Uh, the back of the box just kind of calls out some of the cool features on the particular figure, as well as the accessories and attributes. And then on the opposite side, you do get more of that really cool art. Really digging the grays, the blues, and the purples for this particular figure. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So this is... Mole rat before the change. Um, there was Cobra Environmental Troopers with the Pursuit of Cobra line, and then I believe Rise of Cobra. They had some uh, volcanic type troopers that came in an environmental suit with the hood. Um, with the Pursuit of Cobra, they they came with the little blue canisters, um, which I believe was like Compound Z, which turned, of course, those. Cobra Troopers into Zombies, which was also part of that line. Uh, this particular figure, though, does have some pretty cool loadouts. He does have the hose that hooks to the front of the gas mask and then down into this reader. Um, it does have some cool little details in this um, kind of neon green, kind of reading the the Dark Energon levels. Um, he also has the hose that plugs into the side of the mask, um, and that hooks up to the backpack. And again, you see some great details on the backpack. You see the different fans and stuff, so it's feeding uh, fresh oxygen to the trooper uh, so that he is not contaminated by uh, the Dark Energon. He does also have a couple different storage places where you can put some of the accessories. So you'll have right here, of course, and then also down here at the bottom where it can hook on. Uh, this figure doesn't have much movement when you have these hoses plugged in for the neck, um, but you can still get some pretty decent poses out of him. He does come with the standard G.I. Joe articulation, so he does have the butterfly shoulders. He does have the pinless um, elbows and knees. I think the sculpting, if it's reused from other figures, they did a really good job of kind of hiding it. I love this um, hazmat suit type. So maybe we might see like an airtight use for this. I love having the feature of the little like relief valve here. And then of course the Cobra sigil on the side. You do get that also here. Um, and then just the nice detail on the legs and then down to the boots. I'm really digging this little orange right here. Um, the work boots are just that. They're work boots. Some nice tread on the outside of them. Um, but overall, just a really cool looking figure. I do also really like how it has this metal uh, paint app here so it looks like kind of just you know there's a different hood that you even go on it as well um, now with all of that said you do unplug these little hoses and again this is another accessory um, and I'm going to pop the backpack off too and then of course you pop the head off and then you get the dark energon infused mole rats and this is a face only a horror fan would love Absolutely amazing. I'm loving the purple. It really sets off the white of the teeth. You can get a little bit of the black background from it. He's got that zombie of, I'm going to eat your brains. Um, really digging the dark energon poking out of his skull. I don't know if it was growing out of or if he was stabbed with it. Uh, but around the outside of it, you do get some darker purple. And then this lighter purple here in the middle. Um, I'm also liking the whited out eye with the purple around the outside of it as well too. Um, for accessories, he does come with a weapon that has changeable features. Here's the base of it, and you'll see that you have your choice of either a drill, which does have a nice silver paint app on it as well, um, and then this is like the laser cannon. And what's really cool is this just plugs right in here uh, for both of the weapons. It slides right in, um, and then the mole rat can hold it. Here, you can swap them out as well. Um, he does come with this little lantern, which is pretty cool as well. Um, and it can work like a flashlight because you can flip it up like that. This section right here does glow in the dark. 
Um, and this figure does have some other glow-in-the-dark features as well, which I will show you here in a minute. He does also come with what I'm going to call a Geiger counter, um, probably like a Dark Energon thing. It doesn't come with any paint apps, but I may fix that moving forward, just add some silvers and stuff on it too. I think it's pretty cool, um, but you can plug that on like the side of the backpack and then maybe hang the lantern like so. Um, but just cool. It's I like the fact that you have those abilities uh, to do that. And then like I was saying for the glow in the dark features, I'm going to use a UV light because um, you can kind of see how that changes. So that went from the purples to greens and oranges for the head. Um, and then if you hold the flashlight as well, you can see that will light up too. These will glow in the dark if you do have them. Um, you can give them a good little charge and they do glow green with them as well. Um, uh, this wave, take out the fact that this is an exclusive to a store we will not name. Um, I think the weakest one, it was just the repaint of the Alley Viper. Just because it was a repaint, we have the Alley Viper, which is cool. Um, I think... Shooter is a great figure. I'm really digging her as well. Um, I've been playing with her with some of my gridiron stuff. But for me, this is the home run figure. I love the sculpt for the um, suit he comes with. Um, he does have the uh, dumbbell joint to the chest and then to the abdomen and then, of course, into the waist. Um, so you get some of that more modern style articulation uh, instead of the regular chest cut. Um, and just the features with this. Uh, if you're a horror fan from back in the day or just, you know, a kid like me from the 80s who thinks Glow in the Dark is just really awesome, um, then this is a figure you're going to want to probably pick up. Uh, you can still order some of these off of Walmart. Oh, I said the name. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. Um, but if you did able to find this from Hasbro Pulse... Um, they were pretty cool as well. I'm hoping that we do get to see these in some sort of mainline release. Um, we it seems like when we get those sub teams, we will get a, a second line release of those as well too. Um, but overall, this is probably my winner from the wave. Really like him. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Mole Rat if you were able to pick him up. I'm liking seeing new G.I. Joe figures join the line. I hope that will continue. Um, but more importantly, thanks again, everybody, for all your support, your kind words. I hope you guys are all having a great rest of the day, night, evening, morning, wherever you're at on the, the Island of Misfit Toys. And uh, more importantly, watch out for that dark energon. Thanks again. Talk to you guys soon.